So I have here a 11 by 14 inch canvas panel and you can, you don't have to use canvas, you can use paper or whatever you're liking to paint on. And basically at this point, I don't really have anything in mind except wanting to play with color and cover up this white space. So I want to get down a first layer of color. So I'm just sort of working with blocks of color. I have some of my favorite colors here on my paint palette. I have a warm gray and some different yellows, some neons, um, a little Payne's gray, some green gold. And those are basically just favorite colors of mine right now. So um, I because this is my first layer, I'm also not thinking too much about whether or not things go together. Um, so if you just want to have maybe four or five of your favorite colors out on your paint palette, and just go ahead and start making blocks of color. And you can see how sometimes, you know, I'm not rinsing my brush in between the colors. I personally like how the colors sort of blend together. I have some of the neon pink with the purple on my brush and then a little Payne's gray. And I kind of like the way that those are all just kind of coming together. And I also have some acrylic inks over on the left side here. I have acrylic inks and then a few India inks that I might use. And then this right here is the is copper. Um, I love using some kind of a metallic acrylic paint as well. It's just kind of, um, usually I use it more for embellishments, but when I was choosing my paint colors for this background, I just sort of saw, actually this is gold, not copper. And when I saw it, I just thought, oh, I want to be using that right now. And so that's the kind of, you know, instinct that I try to follow whenever I'm painting, but especially with these backgrounds, because it's totally up to you whatever you want to do to cover up the white space and put down your initial layer. And maybe you want to be inspired by an abstract if you have, um, you know, some kind of inspiration that is an abstract painting and you want to try to replicate that using your own colors or um, replicate the shapes and just have some solid areas, some sort of more painterly areas like I have here. Um, really, I'm just playing around and having fun covering things up and seeing sort of how the paint colors mix together and which colors I like best next to other colors. And I haven't really used this gold too much um, other for you know, solid areas. I've mostly just used it to draw thin lines or maybe add embellishments to my characters, like some polka dots or something. And I'm kind of liking the way it especially looks with the neon yellow. Um, and that's something that I wouldn't have really tried before, um, just sort of because I'm playing with this background that I happen to put those together. So now I'm going in and just adding some of my acrylic inks. Usually when I do a background, I try to have maybe three or four different supplies that I'm using in addition to different colors. Um, when I use, when I mix up my supplies like that, I feel like I automatically get a lot of depth and lusciousness to my backgrounds. And I'm not trying to do that every time I create a background, but I find that when I use two to three different supplies in a background, that is usually when I end up liking my background the most. And so with this background, I'm trying to get to a point with it where I really like it. Sometimes, you know, I just take a palette knife, go ahead and spread a bunch of paint around, and that is my first layer. But with this, I'm really trying to uncover some new colors and some sort of new techniques and things and really create something that I'm not only enjoying creating but that I actually will like when I'm finished. Um, maybe even something that I don't want to cover up and whenever I create something like that then that really inspires my character because I can work with what I see in the sort of abstract background and have that be an inspiration for what kind of character I create and what posture that character has and where I end up putting the character's eyes and, you know, where the whole thing is 
positioned on the canvas. And so some things that I'm not liking now are how with that ink, you know, I don't like everything that happened since I added that ink. Um, I love that it has some texture and like a lot going on right now, but I kind of created that army green color by mixing the golden yellow and the green gold together along with some of the Payne's gray and that dark ink. Um, I'm not loving that very much, but it's definitely pushing me in a new direction because that's something that I wouldn't have, it's like a little bit darker than what I would normally work with. So rather than, well, I mean, I could put it aside um, and just let everything dry, paint over it again later, but I'm sort of just trying to work with it and add some more colors that I like instead of adding more of that color that I don't like. So I love the way that cotton candy pink ink, it's actually a pearlescent ink that I added to the top left. Because I have that sort of army green color, the pink really stands out and I love that. And I normally I don't even like that pastel pink, but next to that khaki green, I really like it. So that's sort of another new discovery. And those are the things that can happen when, you know, you're not afraid to just sort of play and try new things and cover up what you don't like with things that you might like. One thing always leads to the next. And so with this background, I'm really playing with that and figuring out some new things that I will want to put into my paintings later. Because the reason I feel totally free with covering this up or with, you know, making mistakes here is because I know it will get covered up after I add my character. So I'm just sort of having fun, creating layers. And now my painting is back to a place where I'm actually liking it again. Um, I sort of drew that circle up in the sky and I'm kind of making it into a bit of a landscape, a very abstract landscape. The circle reminds me of a sun or like the sunset. And so with all of these warm colors, I'm kind of feeling like it's, you know, something in the desert or, you know, watching the sunset. So I'm really liking that. And that might just inspire my character later on as I keep adding layers. So I'm going to keep just adding a few more things to this background before I go ahead and add my character and see what it inspires. She was writing, she was writing, she was writing this song, and I was typing, I was typing, I was whistling along, and a tree was falling, and it fell on. I forget what's happening, alright, it's the song, sing along, sing along. With the blood type song, sing along, sing along. With the blood type song, sing along, sing along. With the blood type song, sing along, sing along. With the blood type song, sing along, sing along. With the blood type song, sing along, sing along. With the Botex 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 song. Song. With the Potex song. <laughs> 